Good morning, my name is Michael Stegall. I'm going to be talking about John R. Mott. John Raleigh Mott was born on May 25, 1865 in Livingston Manor, New York. He was the third child among four. His parents' names were John and Elmira Mott. At the age of 16, he thought his life was between two choices practicing law that he's been striving for or helping his father on his lumber business. But little did he know one day changed his whole life. He was over, he was at a convention listening to J. Caniston Studd on January 14, 1886. Three sentences in Studd's speech changed his life. And these sentences were Seekest thou great things for thyself? Seek them not. Seek ye first the kingdom of God. Now in the summer of 1886, Mott represented Cornell University's YMCA at the first international interdenominational student Christian conference ever held. At that conference, he pledged himself to work in foreign missions. <clears throat> During Mott's remaining two years at Cornell, he became president of the YMCA. He increased membership threefold and raised the money for a university. Um, he, was gra he graduated in 1888, a member of Phi Beta Kappa, Kappa with a bachelor's degree in philosophy and history. In September of 1888, he began a service of 27 years as National Secretary of the Intercollegiate YMCA of the USA in Canada. A position requires visits to, to colleges to address students concerning Christian activities. At this time, Dr. Mott married uh, a lady named Leela Ada White of Worcester, Ohio in 1881. They had four children, two sons and two daughters. During this period, he was also chairman of the executive committee of the student volunteer movement for war missions. He was also the presiding officer of the Worldly Missionary Conference in Edinburgh in 1910. He was also a chairman of the International Missionary Council with Carl Fries of Sweden. He organized the World Student Christian Federation in 1895, and as it, and as its generally sec, general secretary went on to a two-year world tour, during which he organized national student movements in India, China, Japan, Australia, Australia, New Zealand, parts of Europe, and the Northeast. In 1912 and 1913. He toured the Far East, holding 21 regional missionary, mission, oh, sorry, regional missionary conferences in India, China, Japan, and Korea. From 1915 to 1928, Mott was General Secretary of the International Committee of the YMCA. And from 1926 to 1937, he was President of the YMCA's World Committee. Now, during World War I, when the YMCA offer, offered its services to President Wilson, Mott became General Secretary of the National War Work, Work Council. Receiving the Dis Distinguished Service Medal for, for his work, he kept up international contacts as circumstances allowed and helped to conduct re relief work for prisoners of war in various countries. He already he had already declined President Wilson's offer of the ambassadorship to China, but he served in 1916 as a member of the Mexican Commission and in 1970 as a member of the Special Diplomatic Mission to Russia. Unfortunately, he passed away at his home in Orlando, Florida at the age of 89 on January 31st, 1955.